just looking to play a 40 minute 10 second game in the anonymous arena but I doubt very much that anybody is going to last long they're not going to have the patience to actually wait so I'm going to probably end up logging into the system I just wanted to just practice over the board see how quickly they're playing it's like saying I've got no patience to play a long game I'll click on your seek but I'm not going to play for a long game so we're just going to come across so they capture in and the queen captures obviously Let's see I'm not even catching up with the okay right now we're caught up Like I say, I don't think I don't think they will last long, but let's give it a try anyway. So the knight is out. And I'm just going to bring the bishop through like we do normally. Look how fast they're moving. Yeah. Just no patience. No patience whatsoever. We could attack the knight with the pawn. Or we could just go and castle. I'm actually going to attack the knight, give them something to think about. Capturing straight away, so quick, so quick. I'm going to take with a check on their king. So for a moment we're a pawn up. Bishop's defending, it's getting ready to castle. And that seems pretty straightforward. I don't think we need to do anything else. We could go and touch on the king again, but he's just going to drop the pawn down. So I'm actually going to go and castle myself. Reason why I'm using the real pieces is because we're coming to the tournament soon. We've only got a week left to go. So I want to familiarise myself with the pieces so I'm not feeling shocked. Only difference is you have to notate, so writing the pieces down, writing the moves down. But it is a 90 minute, 10 second tournament, so it's a long time to... So they've castled, it's my go. Better, better make a move before they start crying. Um, could bring the rook here, looking to attack the bishop, but the rook's just going to come in front. Um, what's the benefits? Let's bring the bishop out. Obviously, the knight is going to attack the queen. So I think we've kept quite busy in this particular opening. He's going for the exchange, he doesn't like that fancy way of doing that. So we could take the knight and the bishop will still be protecting the um, queen, but then the bishop will take and then they'll be on our dark squared pawn, so that's not too, not too good for us. Is there anything else that we can do to support? Could bring the bishop back supporting the um, queen. But that is getting a little bit too arty, isn't it? So I'm actually just going to take the queen off the board. So the bishop takes. And doubling the pawns is a key thing. So I'm going to just take the knight. I'm not even putting much thought into that. Just looking at the... positional type gains so we double the pawns there have to be careful because he can obviously get his rook down on here my knight's not opened up itself as yet bishop's wanting to get to this square so i think if i bring the knight here we 
because the Dark Square Bishop's wanting to get here. It's moving quick again. Okay, so let's just challenge their rook. See if we can own the file. I don't think he will take, I think he'll move his white square bishop. Or she. Um, bishop's gone to the position we said, which was attacking this pawn. This is why we moved our knight to that position. So I'm just going to push the pawn up and just block that way. Well, I'm surprised they've lasted this long. I mean, it, we have moved a little bit quick, but at least they're still in the game for now. So that's a good thing. So now we're busting through to some sort of end game looking type situation. Mm. It's not clear on this file, he's blocked it. Could attack the bishop with the pawn. In fact I should have just let them take that pawn, shouldn't I? Because my rook would have got a check on his king. Missed opportunities I can see on this file already. So he needs to bring his white square bishop out so then his rook isn't in any trouble. And I think we've given them that tempo to act oh certain to move the rook out of the firing line attacking our knight so I'm actually bringing the knight to attack his bishop I don't think I need to put too much thought into that obviously the bishop's coming here wanting to double the pawns up on our side as well but he's not having any of that at this moment in time it's managing this square bishops managing this square we could bring our rook up to here putting a two on one on the pawn giving them something to think about but I think his bishops is going to come here wanting to line this pawn back up again I suppose the bishop can just take the rook can take I'm actually going to bring the rook up so it's attacking two pawns And my brain's going into narration mode so I need to slow down a little bit now feeling happy that I've got good position but I've got to look at what the opponent can do to us as well Bishop's out so he's um, I didn't expect that actual move personally. I suppose in a way we can't actually take the pawn with the bishop because the king just moves to the side here. And then we have to move the rook and capture this pawn and then he can take and double. Is there something else that this knight can do? Maybe come here but then what's it doing? maybe block this rook altogether I think it's blocking this rook altogether I think the pawn's going to come down but maybe the knight's going to get a bit active if it is attacked could always push this pawn onto their bishop if he's attacking our knight um, bishop's now defending very nice move very nice defending the pawn instead of bringing the rook down Ah, that's very clever. Okay, so the knight can get active, can sit here, but we're there to put a check on the king, but then what does it do from there? Then it's attacking this pawn. But am I creating a weakness because he's got the rook coming down here? Bishop will take, bishop will be on the back. Rook could take this pawn. Ooh, there's so many things I do like the knight jumping to here to go to there but I go to here his rook comes down puts a check on we take his bishop takes 
Knight puts a check on the king. King goes and gets the rook. Rook puts a check on the king by taking the pawn. Is it meaty? I don't know if it's meaty. I'm going to bring the knight here. It seems like it's more proactive. There's probably better moves, but the answer process is put pressure towards the king or the king area if you can first. I think I can weather the storm here, unless of course he's going to start doubling his rooks up here. But we still have the... Oh, we don't! I just spotted... Damn, the dark square bishop is blocking that square. I can't jump there. Oh, I've lost the key tempo. Oh, I've lost the key tempo doing that. Now he's got my pawn. I can take his pawn. Oh, let's go for his bishop. I suppose he can just hide it there. I'm going to have to go for his bishop. I need to try and claw. I need to try and improve this position here for, for the knight. I'm excited now because I've done it wrong. <laughs> oh, damn bishop. Okay, so they've gone here. So the knight could take the bishop. It's actually attacking our rook. But we do have a check on the king. Now, the problem then now is if we do put the check on the king, the king can just come down here, can't it? And it's on the knight. And the knight's on the green square. So even if the rook does take the pawn, the king takes the um, takes the knight. That's not worked out, has it? Let's just take the bishop off the board then. They've set, they're very clever. Very nice, very good. So we'll take, we'll take. So the rook's gone back up. So we might have to retreat or do we... Ooh, no. He's still got his white square bishop defending. Do we double the rooks? Do we take the pawn? Must be something. I'm, I'm not going to rule the day I don't take them the pawn. So if I come here, then his king just comes closer up. He's coming down for this pawn, and then he's going to get this pawn. Ew, do I need to retreat? Hmm. See, if I move from here, take that, then his rook comes here, he's owning both files. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Doubling the rooks makes basic sense. That's basic chess. Let's double the rooks. Keep it simple. Obviously the kings could come into this square. If the king goes to that, that square, we have the opportunity to take this pawn here with the rook. But the bishop is protecting this pawn, but I think if we get this other rook to the back, then we can take that pawn off. Obviously this rook is probably going to come to defend. It won't work out anything like that at all, but we have some sort of sights. I mean, he could just bring his rook down here, he's attacking this pawn. We go up, put a check on his king, rook takes, rook takes with a check, come back. He does have a white square bishop though that can sit quite nicely here. And that would be like a check, oh he's going for it. That would be like a checkmate then. So I think he's going for some cleverness like that. If we take the pawn, his rook comes down. If we went up, this bishop comes here looking for the back ranker, then we can take the pawn with the rook with a check on the king. Ay -ay -ay. Ay -ay -ay. Let's take this pawn and see how the land lies. It all depends on what the opponent does. Oh, he's doubling up himself. 
So if he's doubling up himself, if we bring our rook to here, he comes down, puts a check on, we go here. His bishop isn't necessarily coming here because we'll take it. So he's probably looking to exchange the rooks off. If I bring my rook up here, brings his rook into the middle. We take, he takes. Do we lose, do we lose? He comes down, puts a check on, we move up, comes back up to attack the pawn. Oops, excuse me. I'm squeezing the rook here. Okay, so he's come down, put the check on. Just move the king up. And I bet you I've missed something. So move the king up. There isn't necessarily any more checks on, so it's probably going to have to look to exchange one of the rooks because we have three pieces now on this pawn. But maybe he's not bothered about that. Maybe he's going to come across it. Ooh, maybe he's going to bring this rook across here. Oh, he's not doing that. Okay, so. Hmm. Could take his king takes. Oh, looks a bit blur now, don't it? So we don't have time to take this pawn because he takes. So we have to make a decision. Do we? We're not going to sacrifice the rook. No, there's no point doing that. Although we do get like two pawns and the bishop would disappear as well. Rook takes, takes one pawn, bishop takes. Rook takes with a check on the king, king has to move. To there. So there, ooh, we'd have a check on him. So then the rook Oh, can it come and get something else? Rook could come back and attack the king. Rook, but then the rook will come. King will come back to defend. Interesting. That looks like an interesting situation, you know. Rook takes with a check. Bishop takes. Rook takes with a check on the king. King has to move to the side. I just can't. I want. I want to get this rook. Uh, rook takes, bishop takes, rook takes, king has to move to the side. Take this pawn here with a check because the bishop's um, got the check on the king. King either chases the. comes off of the line. Oh no, I can't actually take that pawn because the king's there, isn't it? Rook takes, bishop takes. Rook takes, king is there, so I can't go and get that pawn. King is there. Come back and take this pawn with a check on the king. King says, I'm having no more of this. Comes into sit, uh, well, no, goes maybe to the corner. So we will have peeled off quite a few, but he would have two rooks. Can I deal with that? Oh, can I deal with that or do I have to keep it simple? Don't sign off, guy. Don't sign off. Rook takes. King takes. Do you know what? I think I'm going to have to keep it simple, but I bet you that was a good go a goer. Oh, I feel like doing it. Rook takes. Bishop takes. Rook takes. King has to move. Then we've got a discovered check. Oh, we can get his rook here. Oh no, but then he, get he gets it back with the bishop. Oh, he gets it back with the bishop. Rook takes, 
bishop takes, rook takes, king moves. Yeah, he still have his rook and I just order, I'd only have a bishop. Ah, damn it. Okay, let's just take it off the board. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's a final move. I might have to look at the evaluation afterwards on that one. I bet you it was a winning thing, but I just didn't make it work. Is he still here? I know, I took a long time. Sorry, dude. But I think that was a winning thing. It went past my four moves though, so I was like, did it go past my four moves? Take, shoot, Rook, check. Yeah, I couldn't find, yeah, it wasn't gonna work. Rook here, but then am I gonna take the Rook? Then he takes back, and then all I've got is a Bishop against his Rook. So that don't really work out. Maybe I could have gone somewhere else. I couldn't really see. Because I couldn't take this pawn to be on this um, bishop. Yeah, I think we did okay, I think. So I don't really know what to do from here now. That I mean, we can grab pawns, but is that really what we're here to do? If he takes... His rook is on a white square. It's just, ah, oh, I wish that could fork the king and the rook. Oh, the light's still showing, so I think they're still here. But that's a kind of obvious move, so maybe they have um, actually left. The light's still on. So they take, we do have a check, but that's inviting them down. They take, rook takes, so they have to take. What do we have now then? So basically we can take this pawn here. Like I said, I think he's probably looking to, but he can't get my king yet with the, some sort of checkmate position yet. It's probably going to reposition the bishop to come here type thing oh so if we take the pawn we need to be quick because he's going to be looking to get an x-ray through okay so i'm going to take i feel like i'm rushing now but I'm not really happy with the position because there's nothing definite here it's just like grabbing pawns but it's not really improving my position got to be mindful of this square Bishop coming here to here, putting a check on my king and x ray through to the rook, so I need to get that off of the back. So I'm currently plus two, but not too comfortable with position. If it was a tournament game, I'd be oh, uh, good, just come back and protect your king dude please don't get squished okay so he's coming for looks like he's coming for the pawn because obviously if our rook takes this pawn he takes this pawn if we push the pawn up then he's going to he can't actually come up and get this because the bishop's there interesting right so what else is he doing with this move stopping the pawn from moving but it's not a dark square bishop, so we. Push. I think we can put. Well, but if we push the pawn, then I'm gonna have to push the pawn higher up. Because then the bishop's protecting the pawn. I think some, something's not feeling right, but I'm going to push the pawn. It's elevating the pawn as well, so it's moving further up the board. I think he's coming behind the pawn here with the rook. And there's no defence for that. Ah! Gutted. Gutted. 
Got it, got it, got it. Need to get this rook moved off of there though because there is this he's gonna get my rook with his bishop. So he's coming here, so we'll have to let him have that. Bishop can put a check on the king, but I don't want to waste those bullets, I don't think. Grab this pawn and then maybe try and get these two pawns that are linked up or give them something to think about with these pawns. Does that sound like a mad plan? So I can't tell them off for going into the tank because we went into the tank big style. All on that one particular move. I think we may have called it right. I, I don't think we would have got it nailed on. I think it would have been a worse position for us. We would have been a piece down definitely. So these are the types of end games that occur in the over the board games in my past games as well you know it's um it's this type of game and then you think uh, i'm like plus two at the minute um ordinarily maybe oh it's actually great what oh why oh dude put some thought in i'll just take the rook here oh ninja bishop Oh, he's going to resign now, obviously. Oh man, I wanted to practice the stuff. It does happen. It does happen. Yeah, I've done something like that in a recent game um, that we've posted. You know, it's um, the king's going into hiding now. And we do have the two pieces. So, do you know what? No, don't do it just yet. We'll take the pawn here. We don't need to rush it now. He's looking to hide his king in this little, yeah. So we have brought the king here. And now all we need to do is get rid of all the pieces. No, do we really want to do that? I'll, I could just put, I could just take this pawn. His bishop takes, takes, and then his king takes. And I've got these two pawns. He's, he can't really contend with these pawns. Really? You know what I mean? That would be the caveman way of doing it. Just whipping all the stuff off and then just doing the king end game. If I was in a tournament, I think I would do that. If I was playing somebody and their level was fairly high and I was in this situation, I would take that pawn off. I would get all the pieces off. But others would go, well, no, what are you doing? You've got advantage. Okay, so this pawn is not going to get there, but this is a dark square pawn eventually. Let's go. Resist the urge, resist the urge. Okay, so the king's doing a dance now, looking maybe to just go here. I mean, it lands on a, it lands on a dark square. So this is why I'm more pushing this one because the bishop can just come here and target that one. So it looks painful, but it's. I think it's good practice actually. Bishop's gone, so we can push. I don't think there's much to worry about there, unless of course he's getting my bishop, but my rook's protecting the bishop. Oh, so he's going backwards and forwards. Oh, bless him. It's king's on a dark square as well. So we'll go for the queen. Ooh, well that's a bit of a relief but a bit of a sadness as well really because I think they played really well up to that point and then okay so it's just going backwards and forwards we'll just put a check a rune here uh, let's 
gone far into the corner. We still do have all this stuff going on here on this um, pawn. So if we bring the queen here like this, then the bishop can't get into the game. Obviously the pawn's going to push down onto us. Oh, the king's gone. The king has gone, so we could put another check on the king, but what we're going to probably... Ooh, this one. And... Is there, oh, is he got stalemate? No, he can move the pawn. He's moving the king, so we can take the bishop and he can move backwards. So he's got space to move. And he's still dancing away. Just move the queen a little bit up and potentially checkmate. Very nice game.